Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So it's been a while since I last made my first video, which I apologize for. I took a big chunk of my break to do a lot of reflection, um, but I'm back now. And I was thinking what better way to start 2020 than with a Q&A video, because I felt like my last video, you guys, I feel like it wasn't personal enough and I really want you guys to get to know who I am more as a person um, as I continue to grow my channel. And so I compiled 15 questions and there's actually timestamps below in the description box for you to skip to a question and see what my answer is for that. Um, you can definitely go, go ahead and feel free to do so. So without further ado, let's get started. First question is why did you start this channel? So I started this channel mainly because I really like editing and making videos. I find it very stress relieving. And you know, <laughs> when you're a sophomore in college, life hits you hard. So therefore you need to find things that keep you sane. And it was around November to early December-ish, I was going borderline insane. So I figured, well, Leia, what's something that's productive, stress relieving and fun that you could do to bring yourself back to, you know, life again. And I was like, you know what? Making videos, you know, I've been wanting to make videos or been wanting to start a YouTube channel since 2010. So the beginning of last decade and here we are. But hey, there's always a start for everything. And in terms of what kind of content I'm going to bring to this channel, I honestly don't know yet. But I'm kind of using YouTube as sort of a creative outlet for myself because there's a lot of ideas I have in mind. Uh, they're not very cohesive in terms of like the theme, like I have very different video ideas in mind, but I figured why not post it all here, like who needs a thing, you know? So yeah. How old are you? I am 19 years old. <clears throat> yeah, that sums it up. Three, where are you from? So, okay, I'm originally from California. Um, I was born in the valley, valley <laughs> um, and I love California a lot, but my parents actually got a job here um, in Boston, so we had to move, and yeah, I've been living here for quite a while. I definitely consider myself a Bostonian at this point. Four, what's your ethnicity? All right, so I get a lot of funny guesses from this. So um, a lot of people, they can't tell what I am. Chinese, Japanese, mixed, and then Korean. Those are like top four. Um, that I get. So I will lay all of it out for you right now. I am Filipino. Also, if you take a look at my Instagram, you can see that there's a Filipino flag there. So it kind of gives it away. I'm a Filipino American. I wasn't born in the Philippines, um, but my parents were. And if you're wondering if I can speak the language, <laughs> the answer is no, because my parents never taught me. And I was like, what the heck? Why didn't you like never teach me? And they're just like, I don't think you need it. And I was like, you're probably right, but I mean, also like kind of wrong at the same time because we went to the Philippines like two, no, three years ago and I only know a few words in Tagalog or no, I can understand when people talk, but I can't really speak it. So it would have been very helpful, but you know, there's a reason for everything. And I'm slowly trying to teach myself, although I kind of suck. Five, what are your hobbies? So, my hobbies include, I love baking and cooking, like number one, definitely. I love karaoke. Oh my gosh, for my 18th birthday, no 19th birthday, my parents got me a karaoke mic and I literally use that thing every single day. I mean, guarantee I'm not the greatest singer in the world. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> But at the same time, like I feel like my karaoke voice ain't that bad. I mean, it's no like Mariah Carey or Ariana Grande, but I mean, I feel like I don't sound completely tone deaf.
Cause I'm having a good time, having a good time. I'm a shoot star looking through the sky like a tiger. I'm burning through the sky, yeah. 200 degrees is what I call me with the feeling. I'm driving at the speed of light. I wanna make a superstar like made out of you. Don't stop me now. I'm having such a good time. If you wanna have a good time, just give me a call. My next hobby is watching basketball. Now, I don't play it. There's no way in hell I can actually play it because I'm literally a midget. But I love watching basketball and I really got into it because like my dad was a huge, no, is a huge Lakers fan. And my favorite team is the Warriors. Now, yes, I know, I know, I probably get a lot of hate for that. But it was just because they're the team that really got me into basketball and I really love all the players and not just Steph Curry or Clay Thompson, <laughs> um, but yeah. My favorite player on that team is probably Eric Pascal or Damian Lee. La 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 la. Six, what three words would you use to describe yourself? So I would say foodie, bubbly, positive. Yes, I'm a very, the more you get to know me, the more positive you, <laughs> you will start to see me. I, I refuse to think negative all the time. I mean, there was a point in my life where I did, but we'll talk about that later, but basically, yeah. How would you describe your sense of fashion? So, okay, my fashion style as of right now is kind of going through a weird phase. Actually, my best friend helped me come up with this. So how I would describe my sense of style is classic. Get it? Because I have, you know, my class side. I really like Ann Taylor. I love to keep things elegant, very feminine. And then you have the sick side where, you know, I really like baggy jeans. I'm really into like neon beanies right now. Yeah, that's how I describe it. What is your favorite type of music? I am really into oldie, oldie songs. Does that make sense? Like I'm talking about late 70s, all of 80s and early 90s is the music I literally listen to all the time. Um, if you look at my Spotify playlist, like, Literally, it's all just either Al Green, Got Tavares, Bee Gees, lots of Michael Jackson, he's like my number one favorite artist, and Whitney Houston and George Michael. Yeah. Oh, and stylistics, cannot forget them. But yeah, I'd say like those type of artists are, you know, my type of jam. Although I am a sucker for Khalid and Claro, um, those literally like probably my two favorite artists from like present time. <laughs> Nine, if you could have dinner with three people dead or alive, who would it be? So number one, I definitely say Michael Jackson. I know there's a lot of controversy around him at the moment, um, or always has been, but his music has literally shaped my life and he's literally taught me, you know, what kind of person I want to become as I grow older. And that's someone who's kind, generous, pure hearted and always gives back. And second person would be Monet. I really like to paint and his paintings have really inspired the kind of style I'm going for, which is Impressionism painting. And he's literally a genius, literally an artistic genius. And third would be Audrey Hepburn because just like Michael Jackson, you know, she's definitely one of the kindest, purest souls like our earth has ever faced. And she's a definition of classy, of elegance and I just really admire her a lot. So yeah, it'd be Michael Jackson, Monet, and Audrey Hepburn. 10, what is your mantra? So my number one mantra is that everything happens for a reason, and it's always for a good reason. Um, so this is more of a not so serious example. This break, I literally tried to cop a BOGO from Supreme's website, and needless to say, it didn't work out, and I was very sad, but I figured, you know, maybe I'm not supposed to get a box logo t-shirt because maybe if I wear it, what if maybe maybe I'll get robbed or maybe someone will like punch me in the face, who knows? But there's a reason for everything and you know, sometimes the reasons are meant to go to be unknown. I'm okay with it as long as there's always a really good outcome and most of the time, actually you know, all the time there is. 11. What is something surprising about you that people don't know? So you will call you uh, 
。呃，对不起，如果我的中文不好。<笑> Right, so I added in this question because I just thought I looked at other Q and A videos, and it was always like, "Do I have a boyfriend?" or like, "Am I single?" And like, I just, I just thought it'd be really funny if I added this in there. So the next question is, "Are you single?" <laughs> oh my God, I cringed at that. So the answer is yes, I am, and honestly, like, really don't care. Like being single is legit awesome. I mean, it does get lonely sometimes, but other than that, most of the time it's really good. And the truth is, is that I just really haven't found anyone. Yeah, I just haven't found anyone really. And I really like to focus on long-term happiness. And I feel like a lot of people focus too much on short-term happiness. And so basically, I'd rather be with someone I can see myself with longer than just a few months. So I'm not really looking, but. I'm not exactly not looking either. If that makes sense. If someone happens to come along my path in life, then yeah, why not? Thirteen. What are your goals in life? So this is a kind of we're getting more into like the deep, deep personal questions.、Um, my goals in life, honestly, I just want to be happy with whatever I'm doing, and I just want to be able to make a positive impact on this world, no matter how small or big. No matter what I do, I just want to make sure it's doing something good for other people. And I also really want to be a mom. It's one of my dreams.、Um, I want to have like, four kids, <laughs> and I want just, I just want to have like a crazy mom life, you know, like kids running around everywhere. And I don't know. I think it's just seeing how great of a mom my mom is. It really has inspired me. To become just as great as her. I mean, I probably won't be as great as her, but、um, that's a goal in my life: is to be nearly as awesome as her. Fourteen. What was the biggest challenge you had to overcome? So I definitely say this year was the ending of this year. No, last year was the hardest <laughs> I've ever experienced. I just I was in a pretty dark place, and I was totally not myself. Um, you know, as I said before, I'm a very positive person, but during that time, I was nowhere near the person that I had been for the past 19 years. And you know, a lot of my friends and family got really worried about me. And you know, it was due to a bunch of reasons that I'm not going to disclose because you know I want to try to move on from them. But you know. It was kind of I was in a situation where only I could get myself out of it. So eventually I did, and it was a very crappy experience. But I'm really grateful for it because it taught me a lot of things about myself, and it showed me who my real friends are, and the people that really do care about me. So it's yeah, I'm really grateful for that experience. Now, last question, fifteen. What are your New Year's resolutions? My biggest resolution. Is that I don't want to judge a book by its cover. No one ever should. No matter what, like judgment, we do have our weak moments. We we do we do judge people sometimes. I'm not proud of it. Like nowhere near proud of it at all. Like I'm 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 not an angel, but I'm not a devil either. You know, as I continue to grow and I continue to see how negatively influenced our society can be. I want to try to be one of those people that can change that. Also, there are other things I am cutting out in 2020. Yeah, I've been making TikToks. I'm sorry. All right, so that is all the questions. Now, I really hope this video helped you guys to try to get a better idea of who I am as a person. Um, and really, I hope this kind of brought us closer together. And yeah, again, like I just want to continue to grow this channel, and I really hope you guys are enjoying my videos so far. I mean, I know there's like only two <laughs> right now, but in the future, I hope you guys stay with me. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great new year, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.